Raider Nation, you guys have to be excited. You have to be pumped. The Raiders, I think we can finally say this for the first time in a long time, are officially back to being the Raiders. Let's get right into the news for those of you who aren't aware. According to NBC Sports, Antonio Pierce has been named head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders, a nine-year NFL veteran player and a former Super Bowl champion, team captain, and Pro Bowl selection. Uh, he posted a 5-4 and four record in nine games as interim head coach of the Raiders in 2023. Pierce was in his second season as linebackers coach with the Raiders prior to being named interim head coach on October 31st, 2023. Also, per Tom Pelissero, as Antonio Pierce hires staff in Las Vegas, one name expected to be there is former Bengals coach Marvin Lewis. Pierce brought in Lewis, who coached him in Washington, to help him after getting the interim job. Now Lewis is expected to be on a staff in a more formal capacity. All right, look, Raider fans, Raider Nation, this they, they got it done. They did the right move. They did the right thing. I feel like we haven't talked about that with the Raiders in, in maybe 20 years, it sometimes feels like. It feels like a lot of things with the Raiders have been just sort of just sort of grasping at straws. Okay, how can we throw together a winning team? How can we throw talent together? How can we make it just work? And they've had good players. They've had some good coaches. They've had some good players with some good coaches at certain times. But there always seemed to be an issue. Something always got in the way, whether it was the things with Gruden, Josh McDaniels being a disaster, quarterback issues, injuries, internal struggles, right? There always seemed to be an issue. Moving from Oakland to Las Vegas, there always used to be something in the way. But the Raiders historically have dealt with those issues before in the past because they've been a feisty bunch. You look at the Al Davis-led teams, of course, the John Madden teams going back to the 60s, 70s, 80s. Those Raiders teams found a way to overcome. Why? Because they were tough. They were feisty. They didn't give a crap what anyone else thought outside the locker room. That's what Antonio Pierce brought to the fold when he was the interim coach this past season. That's what he'll bring going forward. I love this move by the Raiders. I think they're officially back to being what the Raiders should be. I don't know how good they'll be next year. I think they'll be better than they were this past season. I think over time, they will quickly go back to the NFL's elite because that's where they belong. Myas, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this obviously very exciting news for Raiders fans and Raider Nation. Now I want you guys in the comment section below. How excited are you right now? Do you feel like this was the right move? Do you have some concerns? Just throw your entire vibes and energy in the comment section below. Now it's official. The Raiders have made the right move in hiring Antonio Pierce. But Myas, give me your thoughts on everything with the Raiders right now, now that we know who the next head man will be. Yeah, like you said, they finally did it. They finally made the right move. Everybody was wanting this move. Everyone has been expecting this move. So when the whole collective of the entire universe is compiling upon the Davis family and saying, hey, maybe we should hire Antonio Pierce. This happened before and they just didn't do it. Now finally, like, listen, we're, we're going to do it. It hasn't worked out every other time where we went against, you know, the common collective. Now we are going to give in and we are going to hire the guy that everybody thinks is right. And like you said, I feel like the Raiders are back. But I don't want to discount some other great decisions Antonio Pierce has done. He's leaned on a vast, vast experience of coach, NFL coaching experience. He's been consulting Tom Coughlin, his uh, former head coach at the Giants. He's been consulting Marvin Lewis, a guy that is very close to him, and now reportedly bringing Marvin Lewis onto the staff in some capacity. Who knows what the capacity will exactly be at this point, but it doesn't matter. Because when you think about Marvin Lewis, you think about a guy who has 26 years of NFL experience. He's been around the block a bunch of times. He's a great defensive-minded guy, linebacker's coach for a long time, defensive coordinator for a long time, head coach for the Bengals for a long time. This is a guy who knows his way around the NFL locker room. He knows his way around NFL defenses. Ian Pierce, being a defensive guy, I think he's brought in somebody who he trusts to help take some of the pressure off of doing what he specializes in, coaching linebackers. Marvin Lewis also coached linebackers. Take the pressure off of him so he can focus on the head coaching position. Of course, he's going to put his fingerprint on the defense. That's how it needs to be. But when you bring in a guy like Marvin Lewis, who you trust to know to make an elite level defense, then some of that pressure is off of you. And now you can focus on making all of the important head coaching decisions. Because now that's what Antonio Pierce is going to be judged on, is how he performs as a head coach. Everyone loves the feel-good story. Now, year two, when everything has been official, he has to perform as a head coach. And I love what he's doing already to give himself the most leeway to do so. I think this is just a really great move in general for Antonio Pierce. 
Look, I think there's an important thing to understand when it comes to hiring a head coach. And people in the media, they sometimes forget this. Certain head coaches belong with certain teams and not others. Being the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys is different being than being the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals, which is different than being the head coach of the Chicago Bears, which is different than being the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, which is different than being the head coach of the Jaguars. And it's different than being the head coach of the Raiders, right? There are different, obviously, ownerships, different cultures, different mentalities that certain teams have and have carried throughout their history. It's not one size fits all. The Raiders over the past basically three or four hires, it felt like they were hiring as if they were the Jaguars, as if they were the Rams, as if they were uh, the Falcons, right? Just sort of a just an ordinary average standard NFL team with not a lot of history behind it, not a lot of culture and energy, not a lot of fan base that has the mentality. They've kind of been trying to like just sort of make it work. Okay, we'll hire the hot young shot uh, offensive coordinator, Josh McDaniels. Oh, we'll hire the young Lane Kiffin and see how it, it works out, right? And it just hasn't. The reality is the Raiders are different. They always have been different, and they've been the most successful historically when they've embraced being different. You have to know who you are as a team, as a culture. It starts at the top with Al, now Mark Davis, running the show, the whole Davis family, the ownership group there. That's who the Raiders are. They are different. They are known for thinking outside the box, for doing things differently, right? There is no reason on paper to hire a young linebackers coach to be your head man, except that he understands the Raiders mentality and the culture as he's done in just a short time. And he's got everybody moving in the right direction. You've got to think differently when you're the Las Vegas Raiders, because that's when the Raiders historically have been <clears throat> the most successful. I truly believe that one of the things people lose sight of is like, oh, well, you you just got to hire the next coach from the Shanahan tree or whatever. Like, no, no, different teams have different vibes and different cultures, different leadership groups, different fan bases. The Raiders are different and they made the right hire by going a little bit different with Antonio Pierce. I am so excited for the Raiders, Raiders fans and Raider nation going forward. I think you guys really knocked it out of the park. I was concerned for a little bit. You may go a different direction, but credit to you guys. You got it done. And I think the future is bright in Las Vegas.